Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. Today we have the first episode of Trading to 250K. Uh, now I don't know how we're gonna label this title-wise or 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 series-wise, but we hit 100K in uh, about 10 episodes. If you haven't watched that series and you're coming onto this channel or you're just coming on to this video and you're on this channel already, go back and watch it. We traded our way to 100,000 coins. Uh, there's 10 videos to follow with it. It's probably two to three hours of trading. And now it's time to try to get us get ourselves to 250k. So last time uh, we made a move. This didn't sell overnight at 73,500, but the cheapest on the market right now is 72,000. So I did list him at 70,500. We're gonna make 10,000 coins profit if we sell him, and then we're trying to sell the next uh, few cards. And then we sold all these overnight, which is good stuff. Those were from previous uh, episodes that we just never ended up uh, selling them off. So we've got 54,000 coins to work with, and I I really want to see is there anything we can do. So first of all, I want to get on this filter. Right, you want to get on the filter of checking out what's the situation um, with hunters and informs. This is the first method that I always kind of go and check out. I say, what is the, is there any open bids um, that we can just add to our watch list? Right, this, this this is a series that we're just trading in. Right, so you guys are just watching natural trading. What are we doing to trade? How are we making coins? So nothing really crazy coming up yet. And these are just things where looking to add some of these things to my watch list while I'm going around and trading, right? So we, we will have these good to go on our watch list and then I'll be able to go around and start trading with other cards. That's kind of the, the goal of it. That's 29.5, no, that's not good. So what a hunter card would essentially do guys to a player is it adds a little bit of value. Um, and that's why it interests me because when you add value uh, like that, it's gonna, e either you can sell it for more <clears throat> or uh, it sells for a higher value because it actually has uh, the chem style so that's just something that i'm starting off um and looking at and that's a really cheap to root so we've already got two targets that we've added to our watch list which is good now just bear in mind guys it's going to be different than 100k man like trading to 100k there's not going to be as many snipes it's going to be more trading with informs you guys have been wondering how do i trade with, with certain cards right so what we'll do is we'll see what what is that guilty sigurdsson going for right with a hunter what's the cheapest uh he's going for on the market um and that currently looks to be Looks like 38,000 coins is the cheapest. Um, and then what's the cheapest Gilfy uh, regular, right? So the cheapest would be 36,000. So that's something interesting to look at. And then we also have a Giroud with a Hunter that I'm looking to hop on that bid. Uh, the bid seems low and I want to see, uh, can we hop on that? Now, here's the deal. We're going to have to get a really good deal on Ramsey because that other thing didn't sell last night, which means um, I'm not going to be able to, okay, so 45K. Giroud is not as good of a deal, um, but I'm, what it means is, guys, I'm not going to be able to really buy two cards right now. You know, I can only buy, essentially, I can only buy one card as we do have a card on our watches. But if that card sells, it's going to put us on like 130K. So I'm very happy. Um, I'm very happy about all that. Um, so now let me see this really quick. So I want to look at a player like Theo Walcott, who's... Um, Who's a guy who's in the team of the, who's it? He's in the team of the week. His card's not in the team of the week. His only his only card is the ones the watchers in the team of the week. But he is getting bought a lot right now, so that's why I'm kind of looking into him. It looks like sixty four thousand. I just want to see is there any potential to be sniping Theo Walcott? It, you know, it's not like I get on here and I snipe, but they do pop up, and that's why I want to check them out. Um, so let's see, is there anything popping up? If he's insta selling at sixty. Uh, it looks like 65,000 that if we get anything under here, and this is just always something I do. I always check out other cards while I'm waiting uh, for a new card. That's kind of like, that's kind of how it works, right? I, I like to add things to my watch list. So I already know that I have deals coming um, while I'm looking for new cards. So that's just something we're doing right now. Now I'm getting worried that this guilty is going to expire. So I want to go over to the watch list and see what it's at. So I think we're going to, we're not going to go more than 35,000. On the Gilfie, right? Because at that point, um, that'll be like three to four K, and I don't want to. I don't. I I, I don't want to go more than thirty-five thousand. If we can get it anywhere under thirty-five thousand, uh, this is going to be a beauty. We, let's see if we can do it. And then we have a Giroud coming up uh, in a few minutes, which is really good because if we do get the Giroud, um, the Giroud is going to be great because it's going to. It's not gonna be great, but it's money, right? Money's money. So let's see. Can we? Can we? This is always something I do as a bidding technique. I just try to kind of piss off the bidder. Like, I just like to bid a lot. Um, I always feel like it just pisses them off. So let's see if I can piss them off. And let's see. We're trying to get this card. Somebody knows, man. Somebody's on this card. And open bids are tough, man. I would say a lot of the time I get a lot of my deals, boys. 
um, from just knowing a card's selling price and getting them on the market cheapest. That's usually where I, I get a lot of my deals. So that's just another heads up to you guys. I never really get deals on bid, but because I'm on such a low budget, um, this is kind of like one of the only options we have right now. So we did say 35 was the highest I'm going to go. So hopefully this guy can hop off this bid in a minute. Because now he's annoying me. Now he's really annoying me that this guy is on this bid. Um, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Come on. Get out of my face. Um, 34250 is going to be a great deal. That's going to be a great deal. Now, is, is he... This is why I hate bidding because the, the bidding always gives you some hope that you're going to get a player and then the hope you lose the hope very quickly. Like you just this guy, man, it, this is the most we're going right here. Looking at it right now. Let me go check the Gilfie Sigurdsson again. With a hunter, what is Gilfie's cheapest? 41,000. This guy really wants a Gilfie, huh? Fine. Take a freaking Gilfie. Annoying, annoying, annoying. So, next thing coming up is going to be that Giroud. Now, guys, yesterday we were doing some insane filter um, with Bundesliga goal players. And I want to see, is that filter still happening right now? Or did the players drop down again? Let's see. Let's see if they're still there. Oh, my gosh. They're 10K. Did they go even higher since yesterday? 9,700 coins. 9,700 coins is the cheapest on this filter. Are they? Oh, my God. They're still popping up like crazy. Guys, while we're waiting for that Giroud, we have two minutes to wait for Giroud. We're going to check this out. We're going to try this out, man. We have two minutes to wait for Giroud, and I want to see what's going on with this filter. Now, I think a lot of people have figured this out because it's actually really overpowered, and it seems like there's a freaking bot on it right now. It's midday. Last night, it was late, so I didn't think a lot of people were on it. Oh, my God. The one just popped up for 1,000. I think you could. Pr I think if you could win all these snipes, you'd be making like 200k per hour. But there's no way you win all these snipes. It's almost impossible. But it's crazy that there's so many people on this filter. Um, and I'm just wanting to get on it while we're waiting for the Giroud because it's actually uh, it's actually pretty mad. So what's gonna happen is if we do win that Giroud, we're kind of gonna be broke. We're only gonna have 10k left, so I don't want to do anything crazy with investing. Um, so I think what we'll do is we might actually just chill and filter for a little bit. I'm going to chill here for like a nut. I'm going to take this down to 850 and then we got to get back to the Giroud. We haven't been able to win any yet, which is a little bit annoying. Um, seems like the whole world is on it, but let's see, man. It looks like they are insta selling for like 9.8 almost, which is, if you think about it, man, if you're getting one of these, like we did last night on, on the, on the training 100 K last night, when we got one of those for like 700 coins, man, it's crazy how much money you make. Uh, it looks like there's a freaking robot on this. I, I've literally a bot. I've got on to one hour mark every time, and I can't win it. I don't. I don't know. This is crazy, man. I can't believe I haven't won one yet. I've been put in every time at the perfect, perfect time, and I can't get one. I can't even get one, man. There must be somebody who just sits on this filter all day, and maybe I caught him off last night. I can't get one, man. This is uh, this is a little disappointing. The, the worst thing about sniping too is it's just so tempting, man. Like it's when you don't get snipes, man, it just makes you want to go snipe more. It's it's such a addicting thing. I'm gonna go check out the Giroud now, boys, because we actually um we're, oh we're, see these are the best those are the best kind of bids, right? When when they list it at like that, and you could just slide right in, right? You could slide right in at that price. So getting Giroud, at, you're always looking for a kind of start bid like that price let me see what does Giroud sell for um let's check this out so with a hunter we just looked it looked like it was forty-five thousand. somebody went forty-three thousand seven fifty. uh okay that's not good last night he was selling for forty-seven thousand. so Giroud is lower today which is interesting i think what i'm gonna do is yes we won the bid but if i sell it now i'm gonna make 200 coins so i want this to sell and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna list mine up right when that sells so we're gonna wait for that to sell and then we will list ours up uh, right when it sells. Now, if it doesn't sell in the next 10 minutes, what I will do is I will uh, I will list this for like 12 hours at 45,000 coins. And that should totally sell. I'm not even worried about it. That should 100% sell. There's no way that doesn't sell. Um, I'm trying to think of any other potential sniping filters that there could be right now. Because right now, we have the Danilo Pereira up. And this is a little bit of a struggle of having only 13, uh, 13,000 coins is that there's nothing insane that I can really do to make a ton of coins right now because we have two high tier informs 
that are up um, and trying to sell. So there's nothing crazy I could do right now. We do get a player for 9,000 coins. He's going to insta for 9,500, which is minimal profit. We're obviously looking um, for the players that are lower, but we'll take it, boys. We'll freaking take it. We need him to sell. Oh, that's a late one. We need him to sell before we go get another one. I think he's going to sell. Hopefully, he sells, man. If he doesn't sell, we're screwed. If that player doesn't sell, man, we're like out of coins. I got to lower this down to fourth. I got to lower this down to 4,700. We got to get a nuts one, man. That's the only way we're going to make money now on this filter. We just have to get an insane snipe. Um, I can't believe these players are so high. If you guys, a lot of you guys were asking me yesterday, what is, uh, why is the reason why he's so high? Like, why are these players so high? There's some SBC out right now, um, that gives like a 45k pack, I want to say. And I'm pretty sure like to complete it, because you do need chemistry, you need Spanish Bundesliga players. So that's why these dudes are, oh my gosh, man, 800 coins. Are you freaking kidding me? So we did actually sell it, which is great. 800 coins, boys. Oh my God, man. Um, I'm telling you, man, this is like, this is the most addicting sniping filter I've ever, one of the most, oh, my nose itched, my nose freaking itched, chat, my nose itched, and that's why we missed a Mark Bartra for 1,500 coins, and hey, we might not have gotten it, but it's the experience of trying, all right, it's the experience, boys. Oh, the bid could not be complete, so guys, when it says the bid could not be placed, I always say this, it's, it means you're one away. You were one person away. When you don't win it, man, that means that there was like two other people that were away. When you get the bid cannot be placed, that just means that you were the next closest person to getting that. Wow. Unlucky, boys. Unlucky. Um, thank you guys also for the support on this series, man. Like, like, like you guys are killing it. Um, great fucking voice crack. Now, you guys are seriously like killing it, man, in terms of just overall support. And I want to thank you guys, man, because you guys... You guys are awesome man can we win one of these we can't win any of these man all right we're going down to 800 uh who am i kidding boys this is just too addicting come on you guys see how many we're missing boys come on 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 yep come on that's it that's the one that has to be the one somebody is specifically sniping that player i think because every time that player I think his name is Camacho. I can't even. I couldn't even see. He goes away instantly every time, which I mean, all of them are going away instantly. But I, I've never even last night. I don't think I won one of that dude. So I think somebody's just sitting there and just sniping the heck out of that one dude. All right, what are we saying? What are we saying, EA? Freaking out, man! My sniping sucks today. All right, we're gonna go down. Three more guys. Three more shots at a player that puts us in at an hour, and then we're we're gonna move on and we're gonna try to get one more pickup. Did anyone else think I just won that? I swear to God, I thought I just got that one. I swear to God, I just won that one. Freaking kidding me. You're freaking kidding me, EA. You're freaking kidding me. This company. And you know what? It's not my fault, all right? It's not my fault that I'm a bad sniper. It's this company's fault, all right? It's all... Blame it on them. All right. Please. 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 Baby, please don't go. If I... Like tomorrow, would you? Guys, I'm planning on trying to trade to a million on this account. So keep in mind, when we hit 250K, changes the trading to 500K, all right? That's how it's going to roll. Um, Come on. Oh, that's the one. That's not the one. That's not the one, guys. It's not the one. I'm not feeling it. All right, we're... Two more. Two more shots. We need to get one of these, man. Two more shots, and then we're out of here. Two more freaking shots, boys. What are we saying? What are we saying? That's going to be the one. Oh my god. The bid? Guys, I think the bid cannot be placed is worse than just not getting it at all because you know you were that close. Flipping hell, man. Flipping hell. Guys, I need to win one, man. We can't only win one of these. This needs to be a ritual that we hop on here and win at least three players for the next week in this series. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, EA. That's oh, that's not it. We see when you you already know. You, you, you admit defeat when you get put in on 59 minutes and 59 seconds. You already know you haven't won it. So when you get put on an hour like that, that, that means you have a chance. That means you have a chance, ladies and gentlemen. That means you have a chance. Okay? This dude sells for how much? He might sell for a little bit more. This dude sells for 9,600 coins. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Get involved. All right, did, did, did that Giroud sell yet? Now that we won one. Yes. No, he didn't sell. Okay. What just sold? Ladies and gentlemen, we have sold Mr. Danilo Pereira. And how much profit have we made here? You may ask. You may ask this simple question. We have made 10,000 coins on Danilo Pereira, our first big flip uh, of this. And now, you guys know what that means. Time to trade. All right, the episode's not ending. All right, so... 70,500 coins Danilo Pereira sells for, and I'm going to list Giroud, Giroud, I'm going to list him for six hours, because I will be checking back tonight, and we might be filming for tomorrow, six hours I'm going to list him. So, what do I want to do now, you may ask, um, let's check it out, let's check it out, let's check it out, let's check it out, I want to see the team of the week, I want to see what's going on, I want to check out this dude, this oldie, um, I want to check out another oldie, I like to look at cards, man. I know cards prices. You will see me picking up cards for certain prices and flipping them. All right. This dude is too cheap right now. And why is there a million of them on the market? I mean, why is there a million of this dude on the market? Anyways, what we're going to do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is I am going over to flipin.com. And do you know what I am doing? I am pulling up the team of the week prices. I'm going to do it. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see what's in store. I'm going to see if there's any players in the team of the week that I think are too damn cheap. Okay. Looking at it right now, um, anything that I like? Uh, not really, to be honest with you. Not really. I want to see if this guy, this guy, this this Spanish center mid. I want to see. Does this dude pop up? I don't know how to say his name. He might pop up under twenty. He sells for twenty-two thousand coins, but I want to see. Does he come up under? Oh yeah, yeah. So twenty-one thousand. If he comes up under ninety-five, we make coins. Now, guys, I don't do all sniping, but I'm just showing you easy ways to trade, right? You can just hop on at any given time uh, onto, onto a team of the week, man, and try to pick up some deals uh, on some players. Because people people who don't know a player like this, right? He has 63 pace. People just don't know who this dude is. Um, so a lot of times you'll see people just listing players like this, uh, and they won't even know kind of like anything about the player. So that's... They'll list it low because they just wanted to sell. So that's kind of something I'm looking at right now. I also want to take a look uh, at Team of the Week Alex Tellez. Let's do that. Team of the Week Alex Tellez. That wasn't coming up. I'm not going to sit here for 10 days and, and look at things. Alex Tellez is 85 is a card I'm looking at right now. Um, he has a bunch of bids coming up. I don't want to wait too long for bids. I like him at like 55k. If we could get one for 55k, that would make me ever so happy. Um, but I don't know if that's really worthwhile. Want to see again? Is there anything going on with that hunter? I'm not at the point yet where I can really be flipping with big boy cards. Uh, we could see if Aaron Ramsey's coming up at all uh, on snipes. Let's check it out, man. So 45. What's what's Aaron? Oh, Aaron Ramsey's kind of expensive. Wow, Aaron Ramsey. Hello, Aaron Ramsey. Oh, hello, sir. Forty-eight thousand coins, man. Holy smokes. All right, so here's a little bit of a trading tip. On Flippin, it says his price is 45,000 coins. So you guys know what that means. A lot of people who pack a player will check Flippin to see what they're selling for. And Flippin updates every five minutes. So it looks like all those have gotten bought and the cheapest is 47 or 48. So if he does get listed under 45, which is possible in the next minute because Flippin has this little lull uh, in his price, there could be some potential profit in Aaron Ramsey to be quick flipping, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And by the way, I'm not investing in this team of the week right now. I'm trading with it. All right. This is a trading series. Uh, I'm trying to think also, is there any investments to make potentially for tomorrow? Now, I'm looking into tomorrow. Tomorrow's a Friday. I think we're getting... Oh, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do tonight. So the next episode, guys, I'm going to focus on making some investments uh, for something potentially tomorrow. And then we're gonna see we're gonna see how it how it does. Did I not snipe him? I still got him. Okay, guys, we sniped Aaron Ramsey for forty three thousand coins. Um, it, he's got bids at forty seven, which is really what you like to see. Uh, I'm gonna add him to the transfer list, and then we're gonna. That's a cool dynamic image too. We're gonna see uh, what does he sell for cheapest. So forty six five is the cheapest. Forty five is the cheapest. That's gonna get bought. Uh, that already got bought rather, and I think the forty six five is gonna get bought. Oh, Jerude. Okay, guys, this is really good news for us. Giroud both just got bought at 45 and 43. So that's amazing news um, because those are going to go instantly, right? Uh, this should sell. 
I'm waiting for this to sell before I go list anything. That should sell. That Ramsey should sell. That Ramsey should totally sell. If there's a bid at 47, then that Ramsey should 130,000% sell. Um, so we got him at 40, what, 43? Okay, that's not bad to be honest with you. So I'm going to list him at 46,250. That's what we'll list him at, 46,250. And I think at that point we'll make, I think, 1,000 uh, 1, coins, which is good. It just sold. Okay, perfect. Cool, perfect. It just sold. I'm responding to a message on a video I'm going to do later today. That's going to sell pretty... That's We're going to be able to quickly turn that around. That's going to sell in like one sec. Um, okay, so good to know that he pops up. Let's give it another try for a minute as it is looking really... Well, actually, I don't have coins because he hasn't sold yet. I don't have enough coins. Um, come on. Come on. Sell. Boom. So he sold already. Uh, and that's just an example of a quick flip you guys can do. Uh, now it looks like there's none under 47. Oh, I just messed up. I should have listed him at 47. We would have made more profit, but hey, I'll take it. And now we know where he instantly sells, which is perfect. So if he insta sells at 47, uh, that means anywhere under 44.5 is going to be profit. So if we see any, we're going to go nab him up. Now, this is a prime time of day, guys. Right now it is 2.20 in New York City, and it is 7.30 p.m. in the UK. So what that really means is that a lot of people are on Ultimate Team, right? A lot of people are playing. And that, that actually means that a lot of people are listing cards on to the freaking market, guys. So that means that you can usually get some deals uh, via sniping. And this filter is like, like, and when you're doing this with individual players, it's nowhere near as competitive as when you're doing it with like a player who's like, uh, like, like this, the Spanish Bundesliga players, because that's something that everybody's on. This is something that not as many people will be doing. So just to give you guys the heads up about that, um... We're going to take this, I always like to set a goal for the filter. We're going to take this filter down to 750. And then if we don't get anything, we are probably going to check out Hunters. And then we're going to head out, man. Uh, and then tonight we will be probably making some investments uh, for tomorrow in, in hopes that maybe we we actually get something. So I'm treating this account, guys, like a, like a normal account. Like I would treat my main account. I'm trying to do some trade. I don't do a lot of this trading on my main account. I do more investing and more flipping with once the watch cards. But we're really trying to build up the, the account and the worth on the account right now. And this is usually a good way to just do quick turnarounds, especially if I'm just getting on here for 30 minutes and trading. It's a really good way. So nothing actually coming up there. So we're going to, before we head out, we're going to set the, we're going to do this Hunter thing again. We're going to see, can we, because I'm not going to get on this account for another six, seven hours. So can we get any other deals really quickly um, before we head out to list over, uh, overnight? Hmm. This is interesting. Okay. We're going to add, we might, we might have a Werner. We might have a situation on aisle 10 with, Ver, with Timo Werner. So Timo Werner. It looks like Timo Werner with a Hunter. Let's check out what he sells for. Oh, baby. This is the money. Set, sells for 56000 with a Hunter. But how about normally? Because we just added one to our watch list. Sells for 55000 So there's one on open bid right now, which we're going to check out. Um, 55000 is the break-even point on him. Now, this is going to be a good one, right? If, if the people start annoying me with that, oh, this is also going to be a good one. Okay. What is going on with Timo Werner right now? Okay, we're gonna go for this one because you know why I like this one guys it's a position change right and a position change is huge so let's see what's the cheapest one that's going with a cam it looks like 61,000 this is the beauty and this is also something where you see you see with this Werner right here this Werner has like an eat like an open bid that's more accessible I would say right like it's more accessible people look at it and say oh my gosh that's a really good deal now this is a really good deal this hunter one I could pick this up right now if I had a few more coins and flip that probably for 58,000. But I think that the cam one is interesting to me. Like I like the cam one a lot because that's a position change and I like position changes. Um, we're going to see somebody went on it. So somebody went on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the hunter one because somebody's on that other one. I don't want to get in some stupid bidding war with him. We're going to get on the hunter one. We're going to see what is the cheapest one with a hunter. We already looked, but just to confirm it. Cheapest one with a hunter. Wow, so guys, the 55k one already got bought, which means that that's his like selling value. He was up on the market for like a minute. So I think pr pr praying we win this one, right? Praying we win this one, which I think we're gonna win. Um, boom, we won that one, beautiful. We're gonna list them for 58,500 and we're gonna list them for six hours, right? And if we win, if we sell that, we're gonna be making, I think five to six K. Um, 
which is beautiful, right? Five to six K on a flip is beautiful, especially right now. Uh, and when we're trying to build this up and I really like trading man with this stuff boys because it just keeps me and it makes me remember how much how much how, the feel-good sensation of when you win a card that you really had to work hard for you know kind of like that so that's gonna sell pretty instantly the 55k one and I'm happy we listed for six hours which means at some point that probably will be the cheapest boys that's gonna be it for today I hope you guys are enjoying the trading now we get to move on and start trading with some better bigger cards and make some more money uh, which is really really good Smash a like if you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, and thank you to all who are following this, and, and just hopefully it's helping you, and hopefully it's entertaining you guys. I will see you guys in a lot of videos soon. A lot, Guys, be on the lookout. A lot of videos coming on this channel, like very soon. So, see you guys soon. Peace out. Zuzi on the track.